Clarification point. First is, there's a point here in this message that I want all of us to grab. That the talents were given to the servants, and the servants didn't have the talents before they were given. Therefore, the talent wasn't really the servants in the first place. The talent was given by the master. It is the master's talent that is given to the servant. And if it is the master's talent that's given to the servant, the servant can't walk around even though they have possession of the talent. It is not just their talent. They have possession of the talent, but it's not just for their ownership. It is connected to the one that actually gave the talent. The problem for so many of us is we walk around like we are the givers of the talent. You walk around like you, the one that made sure that you six foot tall and dark and lovely. You the one that gave yourself the voice. You the one that gave yourself the intelligence. You the one that gave yourself the opportunities. Can I tell you, we miss it when we forget we have been given. The talent has been given. And we get a chance to work it. And the parable reads, again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last, dividing it proportion, it, what, dividing it in proportion to their abilities. He then left on his trip. The servant who received five bags of silver began to invest the money and earned five more. The servant with two bags of silver also went to work and earned two more. But the servant who received the one bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. After a long time, their master returned from his trip and called them to give an account of how they had used the money. The servant to whom had been entrusted five bags of silver came forward with five more and said, Master, you gave me five bags of silver to invest, and I've earned five more. The, I'm sorry, my page went over. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling, I'm sorry, yeah, you have been faithful in handling this small amount so now I will give you more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. The servant who had received two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you gave me two bags of silver to invest, and I've earned two more. The master said, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Then the servant with the one bag of silver came and said, Master, I know you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you did not plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth. Look, here is your money back. But the master replied, You wicked and lazy servant. If you knew I harvested crops I didn't plant and gathered crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have gotten some interest on it. Then he ordered, take the money from this servant and give it to the one with the 10 bags of silver. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. Now throw this useless servant into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
Hallelujah. What a great story. Amen. gave me one talent, you want me to go to work for your talent and then give you everything that I worked for. You gave me talent, but I did the work. And since I did the work, I don't feel like working and giving everything I worked for back to you. Because I'm the one that did the work. Yeah, you gave me the initial investment. Yeah, you got me started. Yeah, you did. But this is my effort. I want my own effort and you need to go get your own effort. Therefore, I don't want to give you what I'm willing to work for. So I'll just hold your stuff on the side and give it back to you when you come back. Because if I can't use it for myself, then I don't want to use it at all. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but we got way too many people that are supposed to be part of the kingdom. And all you doing are using your talents for yourself. All you're doing are trying to build up your own rep. All you're doing is trying to build up your own reputation, your own wealth, your own ideas. And that ain't what the talent is for in the first place. And I can't tell you how many individuals I've talked to when but not rightly using gifts that sit in places of complete unhappiness. Completely unfulfilled. Because we're not using it right. So, what has God given to you? The parable is meant to suggest that everyone who will hear it should be able to find a space where they say that there's a talent that you're given. And it doesn't matter if your talent is the five or if your talent is the one, how are you using it? And how are you using it to build kingdom? I say that because working and serving at the church is part of building kingdom. However, it's not the only way of building kingdom. That you could be building kingdom even outside of the church but it should be building kingdom. And we're talking about the kingdom of God. So I'll ask again, how are you using your gifts, your talents to build kingdom? 